This is an update video on how to get your PlayStation 3 controller working with your computer. Um, there have been some changes since my last video. It's just a lot simpler to get this stuff set up now. Uh, so there's less hassle and I'll just show you guys what to do. Uh, first things I'll be using is uh, Windows 7 64-bit like the last video. Um, you can use Vista 64 or even 32-bit versions. Um, but this will be for the 64-bit um, versions here. So if you're not sure if you have uh, 32 or 64, um, go down to start, uh, right click on computer, and go to properties. It should tell you here under the system type, so obviously using 64-bit. I'll put some uh, links in the description bar below, um, so just look out for those links. Um, which should lead you to this file here, the 64-bit um, driver. Um, and if you're using 64-bit, make sure you get the signed version, uh, because if you don't, it's just not going to work. So 32-bit guys, you don't need to worry about it. Um, only 64-bit needs to worry about the signed. Um, but yeah, just make sure you have that. Um, Right-click on that, go to Run as Administrator, um, hit yes to any sort of uh, messages that pop up, and just go ahead and hit next through it. And yeah, choose whatever you want. I'm just going to make a desktop icon and go and run it. And I think the first time you run it, it's going to pop up a web page telling you how to install it or work it. You can run through that if you want to, but uh, I'll just show you what to do. Um, right at this point, it's going to say to wait for controllers to be connected. Um, at this point, go ahead and plug in your PS3 controller with the USB um, at the top there, and you should get a uh, um, USB device detected uh, message or sound and uh, it may take some time the first time you put it in but eventually it should show up as DualShock 3 6 axis USB alright and before you do anything else click on driver manager here and it should show up a device here so right now it says it's loaded already for me since I've already installed it um, but for you it definitely won't so what you need to do is just click on this and then click on load driver it might take a second or so but right here it should say uh, driver successful and you should be fine so you can also hit install all um, yeah but I just choose load driver so that's fine um, at this point you should be good to go um, you can hit your PS3 button just to make sure it's on um, but yeah I'll go ahead and choose the uh, PlayStation 2 this way I get the uh, directional pad and the joystick support um, also this right here is for the um, vibrations just hit enable you can test it and mine works so pretty awesome um, yeah you can double check on that as well under devices and printers um, it should say HID compliant game controller just go to game controller settings and properties so obviously everything's working directional pad is the point of view hat um, buttons are working and analogs work in there so that's cool if you want the um, uh, Z axis support, you know, you can choose the other different uh, options here. Um, hold on. Yeah, there's PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, analog triggers, things like that, but for simplicity, I use this just because there's uh, less problems with it. Um, Alright, so once that's done, you can close out of that. Um, yeah, all you need to do now is just test it, it should be good to go. So I'll just open up my emulator here go to recent games, I'll just do Chrono Trigger, and yeah, we'll do, here we go, and yeah, I'm using the point of view, so, point of view hat, which is the directional pads, so, yep, good to go, so, pretty awesome, um, a lot simpler, you don't have to restart or anything to, uh, the installation anymore and yeah so if you have any questions you know feel free to uh, leave a comment but uh, I mean this is pretty straightforward so uh, thanks for watching